Hello everyone and welcome back to Cities by Steven. You're talking to Steven. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, please hit the subscribe button, get that bell notification on so you don't miss out on the next episode of Brockton County in Ontario theme city. And make sure to hit the like button. The like button helps with the channel a lot. Uh, welcome back to uh, the city. I hope you enjoyed the last episode where we kind of built up the university a little bit. Um, then And then that leveled up again right at the end of the episode. We also kind of built, uh, started building up a bit of a high rise district um, and did some pedestrian crossings. Uh, this week is a short week again, so today is Wednesday, and this is the last of the short weeks for August. We might have one in September. Probably will have one, just, just one in September in, in the middle week, or one of the two middle weeks. Um, but anyways, um, today's episode, we are going to feature a mod, and then we are going to build the university up again and the high-rise district that we've been working on. Um, and if you uh, left the end of last episode, because it was pretty long, and I don't blame you for that, uh, we built a little bit of a district over here, and it's called Walnut Hills. But uh, if you have a name suggestion for it, uh, let me know. It's just going to be this high-rise district. It's not going to be all high-rises. It's going to be high-rises against the, the highway here. We might lower it down into some, perhaps, uh, lower residential community, less desirable uh, land. Um, and as like a bit of a transition zone, kind of, uh, into maybe more of suburbia out this way. And Packenhampton's pretty much suburbia as well from the downtown core. We're kind of thinking the downtown core is gonna be out to, to about here. I wanna surround the university a little bit with some high rises and, and stuff. So I'm thinking like around here in East Batherston will be kind of the end of the, the downtown and then we'll start tapering off into suburbs uh, and then have a community around the lake as well. Um, like a wealthier community but uh, that is like long-term plans and we hit level three however let's look at a new mod if I remember there'll, there'll be chapters so if you don't care for it then uh, just uh, you know skip ahead all right so uh, the new mod was suggested by Mark and JMWZ in the comments and then I also saw Biffa post a video about it uh, the day I'm recording which is last week for you guys it's called the network multi-tool uh, it is fantastic. It is, uh, we used the last episode as well, briefly, but it is a multi-tool of road, uh, of things you can do with roads. You can create a loop with it, which would have been really helpful when we built this Cloverfield last episode. Uh, we, you can uh, create a connection, which you can make a connection from pretty much any uh, road placement. Uh, you can align, you can slope, you can insert segments. You can invert segments. You can split nodes into two, and you can unify two nodes together. You can add a node and then also subtract a node. So what I'll do here is I will showcase a couple of these features. And I think the, the big one that we should look at is the create loop and then the slope. So why don't we start with the slope? And you know, when we made this Cloverfield, Cloverfield, that's a movie. <laughs> Clover interchange. Uh, we did it all by hand. We didn't use a preset or anything like that. And it just takes an incredible amount of time to, to do it by hand. Uh, but if you have this tool, it could help. And just like with the Move It mod, but better, you can create a pretty cool slope. So you see how this jumps pretty good right here. And you know, I thought we did a pretty good job at getting the slope down, but it's not the best slope. So what we'll do here is we'll take this node, so we'll select it with just our left click. And then we'll left click over to here. We can also go to back back one and you'll kind of see the, uh, you can also just select each one you like as well. But uh, the highlighted ones kind of show which uh, nodes are going to be selected here. So we're going to select that. It's, it shows the percentages of the grade and then you just press enter. And you're going you're gonna to see all this jump. There we go. So what we did is we made the slope a lot better. And uh, you know, some of the nodes are still a bit off and I think you still need to use node controller for that. So. We can just do that. We can slope the node. Uh, let's kind of close that together again. And yeah, maybe that's a bit better. So, you know, use it with node controller and it should work pretty well for you. Uh, let's do another one. So let's grab this and then we're going to go right to here. So it looks like we're going to have some jumps here. These percentages are, you know, it's a 1% difference. Not, not that bad. This is a pretty big one. Look at that. Plus now we get a lot more headroom over here don't we? Uh, let's try to line that up a little bit. 
raise it up. Pretty good. It's a pretty busy area, I think. This whole area is going to probably be, uh, like, a, have a zone transition soon because this is too important of land to not be re just res uh, just be uh, low density residential. And I guess uh, this is where we're going to start looking at the evolution of Bathurston into a bit like a uh, old Bathurston, I guess is what we should call it. Because now we have. Uh, Batherson City, we have Batherson Waterfront, we have Batherson West, Batherson East, and we're going to make one more district as well uh, inside of the city. But anyways, that's getting ahead of ourselves. So yeah, that's pretty good. It, you know, it really helped the slope of this. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go over uh, all of them except for one because I was I was testing it out. <laughs> I was testing it out in one of the clovers, and you know we don't really need all of the uh, the four clovers to really kind of showcase it, right? So. Uh, we'll go to there. Oh, oh no! What did I do? Silly me! I guess I uh, didn't click it properly. Did I mess up? No, that's pretty good. Just right-click to exit it. I forgot to do that. That's what I did. And then there we go. We line that one up. And then let's do this one. So we will oh, right-click to exit. Enter. Right click to exit, click, click, enter, right click, perfect. Look at that, and I already did this one. Uh, and you know what, that already looks a lot smoother. Okay, so now, uh, you know what, this one looks a bit winky wonky, right? Like uh, we kind of fiddled around with that one a lot, and I don't know if another situation re would really work with, uh, out us, without requiring us to take out more buildings than we were ready for. But, you know, with this one, we have lots of space. It's a really good curve here, isn't it? So, but, uh, but you know what? Like, it's it's a bit too bulgy over here. Not It could be smoother, right? So why don't we try this out? I'm going to pause the game here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Move It mod just to kind of help us out a bit. I'm going to make this a bit of a, a stub. <laughs> I'll do the same thing right here. And then what we'll do is pull out the multi-tool. We're going to go to Create Loop. We're going to select here to here. And yeah, it looks a bit funny right now. This is what happened. It says, oh, you want to do it this way? No, I want to do it from this node to this node. And there we go. Now we just got to drag this back. We can also kind of fool around with it a little bit. It's a bit difficult to do. It's still in, in work, I think. But I think this is going to be a perfect circle for us. So what we're going to do is we're just going to click enter. Oh, <laughs> I, had the, I had the wrong road selected. Select the road and then do that. So we're just going to upgrade this and it's the, the curve should still say this, stay the same. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Look at that. And then probably what we should have done is done the, uh, uh, the upgrade before we did uh, the curve here. But you know what? There we go. Look at that. Very nice. And it looks like we do need to use node controller here. Uh, make this a middle node. Much better. Ah, you know what? It's not much better at all. Let's, uh, let's make that sloped. Oh, it is. All right, well, that's fine. And now what we can do is we can uh, take move it. Move it. There we go. And then we can just kind of readjust this to be to mold against this other curve. I'm sure you could probably uh, use the multi tool to do this as well. But uh, you know what? That's pretty good. And look at that. That's like a that's like a perfect circle. So let's do that again with this one. So I'm just going to use move it to uh, whoa <laughs> wrong button. Okay, I'm just gonna use move it to um, make a bit more of these things to be a bit more nubby. I don't know if that's a word. All right, there we go. Spin it around. Uh, we have this one selected this time, right? We're gonna go to the cur or great loop mode. We're gonna select from this segment to this segment, then this node to this node, and then we're just going to. All right, so that's as good as a curve we can get. 
Um, unfortunately, we're going to have to uh, back out of this and know that, well, now we know that we need to make these a bit more stubby. And then now we can do this again. Segment to segment, node to node. There we go. So that's as good as we can get it for now. And we're just going to click enter. And look at that. It's pretty good. Let's uh, let's get this to be a slope first. Um, where is it? There it is. Slope. So we're going to go from here to here. Enter. There we go. And then here's a good opportunity to showcase another part of this. So now that we have these two nodes here pretty close together, as you can see, each end of that segment, what we're going to do is we're going to go to this split. Oh, no, that, com that combine yeah, union nodes. Just like both of these. Oh, these. Oh, wrong one then. What is it? It's the remove nodes. That one works too. Yes, do the remove nodes. Let's just remove that node. Perfect. Let's remove this node. Perfect. Uh, I think the node controller here would help out a lot. There we go. Look at that. And if we were to make the markings here, I'm sure, uh, I'm sure it would help out a lot. So, you know, I really suggest using uh, the multi tool with node controller. Um, okay, so now that we've got that in place, it's pretty nice. Now we just need to fix the other part of this loop here. I'm going to grab these two. We're going to swing it out. And perfect. I mean, not for this house, because it's in the way now. But, yeah, it's fine. Probably wouldn't want to live here, but it's fine, right? Uh, let's make sure we dezone this. Um, let's also dezone here, and then let's just get a smaller house. All right. So I think uh, I think this has kind of shown the strength of this mod. Uh, you know, when you have to squeeze something in, I don't suggest using it. Ah, we could do this one too, since we're doing this. Let's delete it. <laughs> Flying car. Okay, so uh, let's squeeze this in. Don't hold Alt like I just did. And then let's do it one more time. So say it with me this time, right? Network multi-tool, create loop, segment to segment, node to node. There we go. Oh, look at that. We got lots of space this time. And then we're just gonna click Enter. There we go, we got a perfect curve. And then what you want to do is you want to go to the set slope. And then I'm going to click here, click here, enter, right click. Perfect. We got two nodes right here, pretty close together. So then we're going to go to the remove node mod or a, a section and click it. Same thing. Look at that. And then if you want to uh, even, you know, make sure it's even still smooth just uh, do this again and yeah it is okay I was curious about that all right and then if you're already if you're upgrading a, a set of roads that you already have then you're gonna want to readjust it to fit the segment that you're upgrading so this is a bit <laughs> this is a bit sharp there Okay. Uh, well, here's a good uh, opportunity to use the sloping mod. I'm not sure if we uh, if we did this one or not. This is a pretty long one. Yeah, I think one of them changed. All right. Well, uh, that is a fantastic use of this this mod, and then we can go all the way over to our crazy one we did. And I've I've uh, I tested it out on this one, but I didn't know what I was doing. Uh, but it looks a bit better. And then this one, I used the sloping tool for, but it didn't work off of the needs of this crazy interchange that we built. But uh, you know, I think it's I think it works, guys. It, it, it's fine. <laughs> I haven't uh, I'm recording this before this episode is released, so I know this interchange is a bit weird. The lane maths don't work, uh, but we'll get to it in the future once the city demands or the city's need demands it. 
because now that the game's been playing for a little while since I built this, it's fine. It's just it's way better than it was, right? <laughs> um, all right, so now that we've done that, let's look at some of the other ones, uh, some of the other bits and pieces of this um, mod. So let's go to the ground level here. Uh, let's just use dirt roads so I don't waste all of our money that we spent so uh, so much time building. So say, um, say I'm building with that this on, and you just kind of just ever so slightly get off of the grid here. What you can do is you can use the multi-tool and you can go align arrange at node. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to arrange well I'm going to align all of these. Oh, How do you do it? Select node to add it in order. Hold shift. Oh there we go. And look at that. So it created like a yellow little marker there and that's where it's going to go. Click enter. Boom. Straight and then if we kind of probably, if we probably wait a little bit, the zoning will probably shift. I'm sure if we connect another road to it, it probably will. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so maybe this is something that uh, the mod still is working on. Or maybe uh, my computer's just slow, I don't know. Maybe if we take the zoning off of here with the zoning adjuster. Yeah, look at that. The road's pretty straight now. So that's how you use that one. Um, let's see, the uh, create connection. Now this one would be really useful if you're building on a hill. Ah, let's actually just go build on a hill. Okay, so this is a slope right here. Uh, let's take a look at um, this. All right, so we wanna build a, uh, a switchback through here, right? So what you normally do is you just do that, and then you need to find a curve, but you know, it never really works. So why don't we just turn our guidelines back on. Uh, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna build everything we need to do to build a switchback. <laughs> this is a big switchback, okay. Uh, and then what we can do here is we can use this multi-tool. Let's uh, pull this up. Alright, so I want to connect here to here. Okay, probably should have looked at how to do this first. Ah, I want this node. There we go. Look at that. It's pretty good. So we can just, uh, you know, adjust them. It kind of creates two little circles here. But I think that's perfect, so we'll click enter on this one. And then I want to go from, let's uh, let's delete this one. Oops. And say we actually do want a road here, but uh, I just didn't place it in. So what we, what we can do is, or maybe, maybe we didn't realize that the grade was uh, as steep or something like that. So let's pull up the S curve tool here. We're gonna go from here to here, from this node to this node. And look at that. It does the switch back for us. So we can even pull it out a bit farther on either side. Now, I don't know if it's gonna really respect the grades <laughs> that we really are looking for. But, ah, look at that. Now we can just do it ourselves. I didn't realize you could do that. Okay, the more you know. Click enter. Look at that. Minus the, uh, the, the slope that we can fix ourselves. That's a pretty good looking... <laughs> it's not the best. But uh, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. It, it works uh, in a sense of you being able to place the roads where you want them to. And then all you need to do is really just come back here uh, with the sloping tool. So let's uh, go from here to here. Just slope it. And then we'll go from uh, here all the way down to here. Oh, nothing. Uh, let's slope it down to this curve. Look at that. Oh yeah, geez, of course, that, that's what you can do. So, instead of having to do each segment like we used to do with Move It, where you have to do each segment and it gets really annoying, so there's still a bunch of bumps here, right? So here, what I'll do to kind of just showcase it a bit more is I'm gonna grab uh, Move It and just kind of shoot this one up. 
to kind of replicate what it used to be, look like. So you're going to take the sloping tool again. And from here, oops, yeah, from this node, oh, here we go, from this node, what the heck, why isn't it working? Okay, from that node, so I think there's a limit on how many nodes you can do. Oh, no, there isn't, just was freaking out a bit. From there to there, okay. Click enter, look at this. Oh, look at that, that's perfect. Now it's perfectly graded out for you and then all you need to do is come back with it. If this is the kind of switchback you're, lo you're looking for, come back with the smoothing tool, fill it in. Look at that, that's absolutely perfect. And then you can just continue it up. So pretty, pretty cool little uh, mod right there and then uh, you know how there's two nodes right here? We already know how to fix that. Node remover. Boom. Say we want to add a node right here. Oh, what? Boom. Node right there. Alright, so those are the, the main features. I haven't really played around with the other ones. But um, I think those are the, the features that are going to be most useful for most of you when you're building. Um, and it's going to be really useful for me when I'm building. All right, so now that we have kind of showcased this mod that um, was so graciously suggested to me in the comments, thank you again, Mark and James WZ for the suggestion. Uh, well, that was 22 minutes. Um, now let's uh, kind of look at doing some other stuff. So um, I kind of did the same thing over here, like uh, like just like we did over here with this with the side. Um, this is being really heavily used, which is great. I also added a pathway down here as well to kind of improve the connectivity. Uh, we have a ton more residential demand as well. Um, let's go. There we go. Got rid of that. Four percent unemployment. So we have tons of space to use up still. And I think it's probably time for us to look at how we're going to connect uh, the next tram line over here because. <laughs> I kind of forgot about it to be honest when I was building this this district so I think we might need to revise some of this uh, but we could also just appropriate this road and or this one maybe because now that we've kind of elevated this our original idea of taking it and then ah, oh, we can tunnel it how about that we can tunnel it under and then come up right here okay that's pretty cool so let's get this tram line in and I don't think we'll actually get the line in, but I'll get the road in place. Um, I know we said no more infrastructure development, but I think it's, I think it's, I think it's useful for the development of the area that we're building in. So I want uh, this one. Okay, there we go. Connect this up right to here. All right, and then we're going to need just the tram line. So I think we need to go into this one for it. That subway tram. Tram track, okay, perfect. Uh, we're gonna go from here to here. All right, so now let's grab this node. We're gonna slide it right underneath this road here. We're gonna lower it. Now, when I was in Toronto last, which was not that long ago, uh, ooh, let's actually Haha, <laughs> let's, let's add a node. Right here. Perfect. Uh, when I was in Toronto last weekend, so it was two weekends for you guys, um, I was looking at how the streetcars acted. And the streetcars aren't exactly trams. They pretty much are. Uh, people in Toronto call them streetcars, but they're basically trams. There are some pretty steep grades that they go on. I was driving on one road and I was like just that this was the first thing that came to my mind it was like holy cow how the heck is was this allowed <laughs> so um yeah i'm pretty comfortable using steep tram like honestly where i was i think it was on bathroom street uh it was way worse than this <laughs> like way worse and i just i'm using this to adjust 
or I'm, uh, I'm even adjusting the roads to make it uh, somewhat useful here. Uh, okay, so let's uh, delete these two houses that we're messing up. Uh, let's remove the zoning from here too because it's just not going to work anymore. Uh, we, yeah, it's just not going to work. Uh, let's just smooth that out a bit. Yeah, like I, I swear to you, it was, it was way worse than this. This is pretty good, <laughs> comparatively. Uh, okay, and then let's um, just put a yield sign here. And then let's lower this one a bit. And I think we need to destroy this house as well. All right, let's uh, let's see what the zoning is like. Yeah, I think we can probably be safe doing that. As long as there's nothing on the corner here. Ah, you know what? Screw it. It's fine. All right, so I think the trams will make it through there. We're good right here. Um, I think what we should do is look at the zoning adjuster. Uh, take off zoning from there and there. Okay, and then what I want to do here is use the node controller. Node controller, there we go. And make it a middle node, perfect. Okay, and then... There we go, it's good enough. Okay, so let's uh, let's throw in residential through here. I'm gonna pause the game because I forgot that I wanted to put in a pathway right here. So we're gonna go ground level pathway, uh, no guidelines. Oh, that's fine, it's like, that's exactly where I wanted it anyways. Um, okay, move it, just pull it out a bit. All right, so we got some High rises coming in here. There's not going to be one right, right there or here or anything like that. Uh, whoa, lost one over here. Okay, we're all good over here. All right, and then now we need to upgrade this tram track. So let's go back to our picker mod. Let's grab this one, and then this is where I guess it gets bit dicey so we've got to cross this road and I think the idea was to get it over into the university and I'm kind of thinking about using this road again because it does connect to the tram line here so I know we just built this one last episode but you know it's it's too perfect guys look at this it goes right into the school here So we're going to go underneath the highway again. So let's go here. To about there. Gonna pause the game here. I'm going to select this with the picker mod. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to upgrade it to elevated through here. And then I'm going to select these two nodes. And we're just going to sink it down. Cool. And then I'm just going to use the move it sloping tool because I'm already in move it. <laughs> Underground here. You know, I think we could probably elevate this a bit higher, but you know, it's fine. All right, so now we're right here. Let's find a good tram line road to connect. Uh, what we could do, no, 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 no. I was gonna say we could just force cars not to be able to use this. Uh, yeah, we could use like a bigger road like this. Eight lane, like, uh, unfortunately I don't think we have the, the exact one we need, like an asymmetrical one. Four lane. Yeah, I know we just placed this one last episode too. Yeah. Okay, we'll just use the big one. Oh, ground level. Aha, let's uh, let's use this multi-tool again. Let's uh, remove this node. There we go. And let's just upgrade that. 
So, you know, a bit overkill on one side, but I think it's fine. All right, so then now let's go to here. Let's see how long this segment is. It's 11 units. Okay, and then I think what we'll do is we'll just kind of get some roads around here. Do we have all our guidelines on? We do. Uh, just get some roads around here just to kind of make sure that we have the right uh, space. Yeah, that's fine, okay. I don't think this is set up properly. Okay, that works with me. And then let's go back to our tram road. Perfect. And then we're gonna drop it back down to whatever one we were using before. And we can always upgrade, right? So. Connect up like that. Pretty big turn for this. Uh, this tram, but you know what's going to happen though is that this is definitely not going to be a uh, like just this. So there's going to be like uh, roads connecting it too. Okay, so let's look at just using these ones. Whoa. that in place and then let's just continue this out yeah okay this is just a bit too steep for my liking so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rise this up <laughs> I see that don't worry okay so we rose that up oh darn okay I'm gonna have to undo the whole thing okay there we go let's rise that up a little bit and then from here, let's use this tool. It makes it a bit easier. Oh no. Ah, oh, darn, what did I do? Oh, I took out a node. <laughs> I couldn't uh, see because of this little thing. Okay, let's add a node then. Right here. All right, and then let's upgrade that piece, I guess. Okay, now that we got uh, this in place now, let's actually use the proper tool I was looking for, the sloping one. Let's set the slope down to here, and then click Enter. Right click, set the slope down to here. Perfect, and then we'll do the same thing. We'll go down to about here though this time. Enter, right click, 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 Enter, right click. Perfect. So now that we have this in place, uh, let's grab these two nodes. Then let's try to get it back up to a good height for the tram. That's probably good. And then we can just use the Move It Mod sloping tool because we're using Move It to select these. Um, otherwise, I would be trying to use the other one, but. Okay, pretty good. Yes, yeah, that's pretty good. Now let's use the smoothing tool a bit. Let's take the brush size down. So now that, now that we got the tram line going through here, um, I'm kind of thinking more residential over here. We can get a bit of a pedestrian crossing into here as well. Okay, why can't I delete that? There we go. Yeah, I think maybe we can get like the university housing area into here. And I think we're going to need to look at getting a bit more of like a, a secondary town, uh, town center through here as well. So that's gonna be something to look out for. Okay, we got this now. Let's go through here. Right in front of the high school. Connect right into here, and then let's get that tram line in because, I mean, like, might as well, right? Um, okay, so we're definitely gonna to wanna to stop out in front of the high school. So we'll do that. And then let's just get some stops right at the end of all these streets. 
just because we don't really know what's going to happen out there. We can always readjust. We're going to skip into here, and then we're going to stop right out in front of the school here. And then we're going to stop again. Uh, okay, I'm assuming there's going to be another building in, in here at some point, right? So let's get like a secondary stop right here. And then let's just assume that there's going to be stops over here as well. We're going to skip right over here. We're going to get one stop uh, in this area. Yeah, I guess it's going to be over here. Yeah, let's get it right over here. We're going to zip through here. And then I'll get one stop there. We're going to go up here. We're going to mimic the stops we have on the giant Queen Street line. And then where does the tram stop? The tram stops over here. So let's get, uh, we can't because of the bus. So let's just continue through here. But instead of going along the red line any farther, we're going to double back over here. Um, there's a stop right there. Then we're going to come back through. So we're just going to stop on the other side of that, get some cool symmetry. Um, let's get one right there. That's fine. I'll, we're going to revise this anyways, guys. This is more just to get the, the, the tram actually working. Okay. And then let's uh, change the color of this line. So well, first of all, we should call it something. Uh, tram line three. Okay. This is the Queen Street line. Uh, trim two is the it's like the, the line that runs through the downtown. Yeah, it's called the downtown line. Not the most creative names, but and then this is the university line. Okay, let's see how many buses we're gonna have. Thirteen or tram, tram, trams. I'll leave it at thirteen for now. Uh, let's go back over to the line overview though because uh, I'm guessing we're gonna need to revise some of this yeah look at that 22 trams on here it's a massive line though so let's get 30 onto here downtown line is really subject to bursts of people so I think we'll leave it at 9 the red line if, if you haven't seen this before the red line goes from here which is a, a bus hub it's a, a transit roundabout <laughs> It's all the way down Queen Street right here, which is this. It ducks into Packenhampton, goes up uh, Meadowview Road, around Thornton Square into our transit hub where a bus connects into. And we're gonna get more buses once we develop out over here. Uh, and it goes all the way up into Riverside and then into uh, the quarry. Yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty big. Okay, so I'm um, glad that we got that tram line in because it's kind of given us a bit of reason to develop some commercial through here. So we're gonna go with light commercial through here. Um, and then we're gonna dive into condo still or residential. Uh, we're gonna go with some more of this. Actually, let's go with like a, some small offices right here. Some big high rises behind it. Um, okay, I think we can go with a bigger commercial building here. We'll go with a bigger high rise right in through here. And I'm sorry, I didn't see that before. Let's, uh, let's just delete these buildings. Okay, um, and then maybe we should look at getting, whoops. Hmm, I don't know if we should have zoning on this. Ah, that's fine. Um, okay, so let's uh, let's look at getting some more commercial through here. Uh, this is definitely going to be some high rises. Hmm, actually, I don't know. Get, uh, let's start mixing up a bit. Yeah, 
Yeah. The area's kind of gentrifying a bit as the city's grown. Okay, let's get a uh, big high rise in here. Oh, sorry. Condos. Uh, yeah, definitely not. Actually, yeah, I think they can have... I think this is fine. Yeah, okay. Let's uh, Now let's revise some of this zoning. Okay, let's get a commercial building here. And then we'll get some more residential. Okay, what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to delete that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get a uh, concrete path here. Same thing with that. And then this way we can get just a touch of detailing in here. You know, I was really hoping this was going to be like just a very classic urban sprawl, but I think this is going to be fine. If we add a bit of trees, you know? Okay, and then I think maybe we should look at getting a singular park in here. So let's look at our park assets. Uh, let's go with uh, the dog park. Okay, and then let's get uh, some trees in here. Let's get some of these shrubberies. Okay, so I don't think there's going to be a clinic in here or anything like that. They're going to have to rely on, on other... Uh, areas for that. Um, okay, and then let's get a couple more offices right in the corner. Sweet. And let's just get a bit of a connection through here. Cool, I kind of like how this turned out. And nice, I like how people are using this to, to walk through too. Ooh. Okay, perfect. I'm glad a train, train went through here because it shows that I can raise that up a little bit. All right, and now let's uh, take a quick peek through the traffic lights because we don't need traffic lights. Um, you know, I'm thinking of putting a traffic light right here because these are really short traffic lights and I don't think it's gonna really clog up the system that much. And then what I wanna do is let's, uh, let's get this. So dedicated. Yeah, dedicated works with me. Perfect. And then this one is... Can you turn left before? Hmm. Yeah, we'll just go with the dedicated left. And then this one will also be a dedicated left. There's a, there is a node in here so they can switch lanes. That is no worries. Okay, all right. We'll set that up. Oh, I forgot to look through all the traffic lights through here. Uh, no traffic lights. No need. Don't worry about it. Forget it. Remove it. Nah. Uh, let's throw in there. All right. Looks like this. Uh, holy cow! These people are just walking from other places. All right, well, I do have a mod that I was saving for a transit episode, so I don't want to use it. It'll tell me where they're all going, um, but let's uh, just do a bit of uh, transit revision then with that. Ooh, the academic year. You know what? We didn't even upgrade that, so I think we'll save that for next episode. Uh, 13 vehicles, tons of people waiting right over here. Yeah, okay, well... Um, Trams are still splitting up a little bit too. 
Yeah, <laughs> all right, let's get this up to 25. Yeah, pretty important tram line. I think we're probably gonna get a, a, a second one in and the subway is gonna go in eventually too. Um, the subway line, here's what I'm thinking. It's gonna curve. It's gonna go right down through here. It's gonna connect. It's gonna swing underneath the roundabout and connect up to Thornton Square. Then it's gonna stop. And then from here, it's gonna swing down and just kind of follow uh, the rail line. Like gonna swing up a little bit and follow this road. Um, and then we might have a north-south connection over here. Haven't decided that yet, but uh, nothing too crazy. Or maybe we'll even bring it, uh, bring it out and go um, into this area. But uh, now that we've got that in place, there's so much I want to do still because you know the whole pur purpose we did this is so that we can. Uh, build up the university and then I also wanted to get those unique buildings in so there's that uh, this one as well let's just stop that one from emptying okay well let's just look at maybe a bit more zoning in here and then we'll end the episode so like right here we have a bit of a park this is a dog park uh, let's throw the dog park right here move it out of the way a bit we got tons of park space around here um, now let's just see what kind of zoning should we go here. I'm thinking this should be like a whole office park, don't you? But it is a bit of a residential area. There's high school. There's a high school right here. All right, let's just uh, let's go with a full block of residential zoning, uh, and then maybe right through here we get a tree line path. All right, that works with me. And then we're still looking at filling in these corners here. So we were using offices for this. So I think we'll just kind of continue that vibe. Oh, we got commercial on this one. Okay, let's do that. All right. Pretty good, pretty good. Um, like I said, I was save. Like I said last episode, we're saving some of this stuff. Ah, the trains are clogging up a bit. That's okay. Yeah, look at this. Everyone's using this. This is this is awesome. So they're all walking down here to go in the north run. When it really seems, there are some people. But uh, anyways, I'm, I'm getting distracted, like I always do. Uh, the university leveled up, but we haven't fixed it up yet. Uh, we have enough students already, so that's fantastic to see. The academic works. Let's give them a grant of literature. And uh, yeah, we'll look at all this stuff in a future episode. I'm, I'm really liking how this turned out last episode. I'm recording them back to back. Um, yeah, the trams are still spacing themselves out for this line. But what we could do is we could also end the red line here. Oh. going on here there's no light here or anything ah they're waiting to get in line all those 25 trams I, uh, I spawned in it's probably overkill wasn't it yeah traffic's still pretty good uh, yeah let's Maybe bump it down to 20. Okay, well, um, let's just look at zoning in this space right here. Let's get some some uh, some office right here. Uh, and then, I guess this would be a good high density commercial zone. With some more offices. Assuming we'll probably change this area up a bit. Uh, and then how about we get a nice little park through here. It's not big enough. 
for it to, to really work. Okay, let's get that right through there. And then let's surround it with like a... Yeah, and then let's take out the zoning here and then we'll throw some trees in. Very nice, very nice. Alright, so, um, I guess the name of this episode is going to be this multi-tool, isn't it? So why don't I find a cool view, minus this one because we didn't touch this one, of this to kind of like smooth out your, improve your Cloverfield interchanges. We already kind of have a nice view of this one. If we go out into this angle, I think we get a cool view of the city, so. Yeah, I think this will work for the thumbnail. Alright, have a great day everyone. Talk to you on Friday, and peace out.